So something that Palatrax is keen to embrace is naturals. Can you explain to me um, the reason behind this? I think it's a massive thing that's basically been overlooked. Um, I think as the industry has progressed and things have changed, the dynamics have changed towards more man-made baits, we're specifically now talking about carp fishing, I suppose, because the irony is in all other areas angling, natural baits are either replicated or actually used. Uh, why aren't we kind of embracing what fish need in their diet, not what we think they need? There's two, mm. that's a, you know, there's similar statements, but massively poles apart. Um, by developing and embracing natural elements have definitely given us a supreme edge. It's expensive stuff to, to, to kind of incorporate, especially when the levels that, that change the, the um, if you want to call them the bite rates, you're using real pure ingredients, um, natural ingredients. When we're talking naturals, we're talking literally the bugs and the insects. Yeah. And, and you know, there's thousands of different waterborne species of fly in this country. Um, you know, somebody was telling me, you know how true this is it's very difficult as every water's changed but you know in some waters you can get up to four ton of natural food per acre and when you think of all the snails or the the, the water flies Muscles. yeah it goes on and on you know if you if you study entomology i like entomology i think it's come off the back of fly fishing um it, it's incredible what lives in these waters i mean it's not just bloodworm it's not just the odd snail it is literally thousands of different species of incredibly nutritional, uh, highly nutritional food value to the fish. You know, in the summer you'll see fish just cruising around, and and you know we mustn't forget they're cruising around in a pea soup of protein and calories. If that makes sense, yeah. it's like every time you breathe in, you're taking in food. The water is their air, if that makes sense. And so as they're swimming through their air, it's laden with food sources, the daphnias, and all the different things that are cracking off. And so they're literally swimming in, and they're full. That's why it's very difficult in the summer when there's so much natural food source. They literally don't need to feed a lot of time because they're actually food feeding all the time, inadvertently, I suppose. Um, so what we've done is, is look to all these different areas, look to all the different natural insects we can source and bring in and, and, and produce and put within our bait. And like I say, one of, you know, like I mentioned the hydro earlier, I think it's just a massive edge. Well, I know it's a massive edge. I think the best example last year, I was over in Belgium I fished a lake for 24 hours. Uh, I fished the brown snails on the stone system as such with the stones, uh, the steam link hook link, but the brown snails, which I'd rehydrated in jungle flavor, which is tiger nut, peanut and coconut, I had um, overnight, or in that 24 session, uh, session uh, um, I had 43 carp up to mid thirties, um, but I caught the same sturgeon 15 times and every one of those fish was caught on a brown snail. You know, that's just an incredible catch rate, an incredible success rate. And I think when more and more anglers realise there is other options, especially these natural options, it's a devastating approach. And it's a bit strange that the industry has kind of moved so far away from it because we were always brought up on these natural bases, natural baits. Um, and again, so I suppose really t turning full circle, we've come back at, and as a company. We understand, you know, the effectiveness of, let's call them the man-made baits. Yeah. But we've never, I certainly have never ever forgotten because of my sea fishing and game fishing and all these other things, we're replicating using natural baits. And by incorporating those into our carp fishing and our modern trends, you, you, you know, you're dovetailing, you're bringing two, th two good things together um, and it can only be beneficial. And so naturals is, is a key part of what we stand for as anglers, a key part of what we stand for as a company. And it's got massive scope to go forward. Uh, and I'm always looking to source and looking to produce baits that incorporate this natural food source. Like I say, it's what a fish requires in its diet. It's actively hunting all these kind of things. So if you use those in a bait format, like we do in all these other areas of the sport, yep. we've got every reason to succeed. And I'm giving you examples. I'm not here to show off about my fishing. I fish very much myself. I enjoy the whole aspect of angling. Uh, the fact is that is just such an important kind of um, story and it's like going back again to the, the, the catching all those tents in that session that was all maggots you know we know these baits work so incorporate them within your your um, approach your baiting approach and things like that you only have to benefit and it's an incredible edge incredible edge